and welcome back to Rogue Legacy and to Sir Dave, our mage who can't cast spells properly. Oh, look at that. He gets a really uh, determined little face there when he's running. Oh, no, I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm just running around. Look at those eyebrows. But yes, so Dave casts spells backwards. Not great for a mage. I, I, I agree. I agree. This, this is possibly going to be a very quick run. But, uh, come on. It's, it's a mage named Dave. That's got to count for something. Oh, crap. That's not good. <sighs> Defeat all enemies, eh? Okay. Uh, we don't have a spell that can defeat the enemies, unfortunately. We need something that'll go through walls. No, there's nothing we can do with that one. I'm not sure what particular spell we would need for that room, but uh, we don't have it. Wow, something just died. And we got the XP for it. Uh oh. Right, that's that. Oh. One of the problems out of the way. And I know you're not just a painting. Can we dash? Not quite. Gotcha. Oh, pretty good uh, haul there. Dave is off to a fairly bad start, honestly. I mean, look at his health. Ooh. He's got 18 out of 53 health. I mean, mages don't have a lot of health anyway. Let's see. Oh, crap. That was bad. Could have been much worse, though. Get out of the way. Okay. Phew. Oh, crap. Do not want. Oh, balls. Got to get rid of that eye. Ooh, more chicken. That's fantastic. Ah. Cheap trick that was because we moved out of the map. The eye got its attack reset. There we go. And I really didn't need to use my magic on that. I was just doing it just so I got the chance to use my magic. Oh, no. I've fought them before, and they're not easy. Oh, crap. That was remarkably dangerous. No. Nope. Wow. Okay, okay. Yes! Ha-ha! Oh, no. No, that, that is death. That is basically death just waiting for us. That could have been if we weren't careful. Oh, wait. Oh. Luck, not judgment. Aha! Don't know how we survived that, but we did. Well, I've got to be honest, Dave is doing a little bit better than I was expecting. So far, he is, uh... Oh, bollocks! I said it, didn't I? I brought that on you with my stupid words. I'm sorry, Dave. And sorry for trying to use a spell when I could have easily killed him with my sword. But I was trying to be, oh yeah, I'll try and use my spells. No. No, stick to what you know. That's what... I... I'm just going to have to give up on these mages and just go with barbarians and stuff. But Sir Dave has been slain by a Doomvas. Dodge the Chakram's return trip in order to maximize its damage. That's actually pretty good advice. Uh, goodbye, Sir Dave. The determined mage, though. You were determined. That's that's better than feeble. So we've got Lady uh, Metasepia, the Barbarian Queen, who's bald. I'm sorry about that. Sir Orem, the Knave, who's got Alzheimer's. And Lady Alana the Second, who's the Barbarian Queen, with who's afraid of chickens. And we'll basically be playing the game upside down. I think not. We're, we're going to avoid that one. We're going to go with uh, Lady Metasepia. Or Metasepia. A barbarian queen. Now, barbarians have pretty cool abilities. Um, and we still don't have enough to unlock the bloody shinobi. That's a shame. One thing we could do is I guess we could upgrade the mages. Just to, to have them upgraded. Uh, or, alternatively, we could use this money. I think we might have enough. Yes, yes we do. 
That is fantastic. We can now double jump. Look at that awesomeness. Now that is how we would get through those fairy chests. Or rather get to the fairy chest. But I guess we're just going to have to lose this hundred gold. Alas, go on, take it. Now well, Lady Matsapia with her spiked shoulder pads. And now, thanks to being a barbarian queen, there we go. We can destroy things like that. It'll destroy furniture, and I think it even destroys projectiles. I'm not sure on that one. Wow, I actually punted them up off the next level. Takes an awful lot of um, mana to use, though. Well, I've knocked both of those guys up there. I don't think it does damage to enemies. Could be wrong on that, though. But I suspect it does. I think, instead, it just knocks them around. But it does break projectiles. Or at least I've heard that said. It might not be true. But have I got enough? I don't think I do. No. I was going to try and test that out. Well, not too bad. That's a fairly okay haul. No gold bags, though. Ooh. Might be able to do this. I think the chakram can go through. Ah, they're all up there. It's like they're trying to trick me. And I don't have mana anyway. If we get the mana, I may come back and try. As long as we get that top one. No, I don't think we can. Damn. Defeat all enemies in this one, though. So far, so good. Okay. Right. Now, I've got a question for everyone. And that is... Do you want to see me playing this through, you know, completely? Ooh. Wait, he's got a really nasty grin. That means he's going to be a bit of a rougher one to take on. But would you like me to uh, record all of my attempts, or just the ones that actually last for an appreciable amount of time and something interesting happens in them? Do let me know, because uh, on one side, I usually just like to record when I sit down, but at the same time, you'd kind of save me embarrassing myself if you did want me to uh, only record the ones where something interesting happens. Okay. We're doing all right so far. Oh, why did I say that? That was stupid of me. That really was stupid. One day, I will stop doing that. Uh, I've got an incoming call. Be right back. And I return. That was a sales call, as always they are. And uh, so I didn't have to spend too long on it. There we go. Anything more? Are there any more enemies, or have I done everything? I think I have. Objective complete. Hurrah! Fairy chest, you are mine! What? Ooh, this is what people are talking about. Grace runes. I have no idea what that is, but uh, now we've got to save up and unlock it. Alright, okay. Nothing much in here unless this picture... No? Okay. Need to get more mana. What? You can attack those things? I... No jumping. Oh, that's shit. But it doesn't say... Oh, no. I'd need to get over in one go. Oh, <laughs> I failed again back out. I'm fairly sure I wouldn't have been able to make it with one sprint. I would ne have needed two sprint runes to do that one. So I'm not too upset about failing it. But we have another diary. Let's see. Journal entry three. I've paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil, Karen, has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pilfered my private coffers. Ooh, that sounds intimate. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who has the depth of the castle. He says it is fair. It is fair, because of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. Fair enough. Though, uh, it's kind of harsh, leaving your wife and kids with nothing. Now you're going to throw bones up at me. And I refuse. Okay, what have we got over here? Oh, zombies. That's what we've got over here. And spiky balls. That I couldn't kill that time. Hmm. Yeah, I've got to attack them from beneath. 
No. Okay. I don't know what the trick is with you and how I can attack you, but uh, I will work it out. Ooh. Got a skeleton down there. And there we are. Oh, good. Right, down here seems to be safe-ish. So we'll get rid of the skeleton on the other side. Then we've got to try and... Uh -huh. Then we've got to try and get rid of the rocket thing there. Oh, you know what? Oh. I was hoping I would be able to knock the, them down over here with me, but no, never mind. Two bags of gold. Nice. Well, we're doing all right so far. And our vampirism is slowly filling back up our health, uh, health pool. But uh, not amazingly. And by the looks of it, whenever I've found a teleporter with two statues, it's always been before some sort of transition to the next area. So the darkness down here, yes it is. And we'll be leaving that behind. Now this room has no other exit, so let's head back up. Actually, thinking about it, we should have just used the teleporter, but I'm almost up there now, so. There we go. Now then, this is probably heading towards the forest, ultimately. Oh, wow. That was luck and not judgment that we dodged that ice blast. Oh. No, I say. Ah! Hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> we got through! I am so happy with that, I'm not even going to go back to smash the urns. Though that is going to annoy me for a while. I don't like leaving things behind. Especially things that could contain chickens or mana pots. Oh. That is just insulting. I just said I wanted a mana pot, so it gives me one, and then makes it so I can't get to it. You dick game. Ooh, this is the boss area. Ah, thank goodness. Glorious mana pots. And plenty of gold. Now, again, in the same way that when you find... Ah, blood cape. Another blood item. That's fantastic. In the same way you find that uh, statues... Like, the, the sort of regular size statues and the teleporter is usually by transition. Having two big statues and a door is usually a boss. And that, so far as I've seen, always includes chests. Now, we've got a good amount of money. We could go and try and face this boss. I'm fairly sure we would die, though. So, how about we continue to explore the castle for at least as long as we can and bring... Oh, Bring back as much cash as we're able. Oh, I think we're going to die. So, exiting there. We did lose the gold that was on the floor. That's a shame. I didn't realise that's how it worked. Ah! Oh, I want to kill the thing that's throwing bloody fire around. It's all I want. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Leave me alone! Oh! That was a bit of a crazy room. But I don't mind losing at that point. Lady Metsepia had a fairly good career, honestly. She killed a lot of things. The architect is very useful for practicing against bosses. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, because you could just jump straight back to the boss if you knew where to go. Sir Tricono, the paladin, who's got dwarfism. Sir Legato II, the mage. And Sir Togus, the knave, endomorph, and dex dextrocardia. Uh, Okay, we're going to go with uh, Sir Togus, the Thin. Now, <laughs> uh, I want to unlock the Shinobi, but we've got enough money to buy a couple of things. Now, first, let's check out this, this Grace Rune. What's this? Grace Rune, chest plate. Enemies scale slower, easier, but lesser rewards. Multiple runes stack, slowing enemy scaling even more. Instructions, enemy scale slower. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what that means. Do enemies have... Do, are they scaling with my health, with my level, for example? Am I perhaps facing stronger enemies than I would normally? I don't know. But, let's check out the blood cape. 
Now, oh wow, <laughs> that's a lot of weight. And again, minus 30 to health. Uh, not so good. Mm, but of the blood items, I wouldn't mind getting it. Well, actually, having said that, it doesn't offer anything except the vampirism. And you pay a hefty price for that. At least the armor offered me, uh, you know, armor, which is reasonable enough. This armor is even less than this one. So it's actually better in two ways. Hmm. Now, we're going to go and we're going to unlock the shinobi, I think. There we go. Ah, the shinobi, a super fast, super deadly warrior who wears a super headband. They can't take a lot of hits, but they can dish out the pain. Believe it! Okay, Naruto. I'm not going to believe it. I, I was... No. But we can learn haggling now, but it's going to cost a lot. But we'll lower Karen's toll by en uh, for entering the castle by 6%. So, from what I understand, that means that we would be walking out with... nine. We'd only pay 94% of our gold, which yeah. at the moment is... Quite a lot. Uh, I, and there's only five levels. Hmm, I'm not sure how much better that would get. But we could spend this money on hmm, upgrading the mage. But I'm wondering if purchasing these would unlock upgrades. Because they often do. Hmm, okay, we're going to buy that. We've unlocked crit damage up. So crit percent, crit damage, and attack. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll have to look into that a bit later. I was hoping that that would upgrade, uh, give an upgrade for the Shinobi, but uh, apparently not. Okay, let's head in. We've got 200 gold. Actually, can we afford anything? I don't think we can. But we'll have a check. 200. Hmm. Won't be able to... Oh, yes, we can equip it. Really? No, we can't. We'd need another five weight for that. But uh, it would increase our magic anyway, and that's not something I use too much, as you may have noticed. Come on, then. I've got no money to give you. So I don't know why you're laughing. Fool. Right. Well, we've got daggers this time. Now, daggers don't go through walls as far as I'm away. No. So we're going to have to just still wait on another spell that may allow us to eventually get those fairy chests that require to defeat all enemy objectives, but uh, the dags are pretty useful because they do travel the whole screen as long as there's nothing in the way but uh, you can do a decent amount of damage to just enemies with it come down here no? fine oh crap, I've got the attention of his friend oh, critical, nice Okay, what have we got here? I don't know how high that is and whether I'd be able to avoid it properly or not. Are you wiggling? Yes, you are. Oh, awesome. Critical. Let's go up this time. No? Okay. I never trust a picture of a... Um. Oh. That was a wasted jump since it wouldn't have gotten me out of any trouble anyway. Bloody dwarfism. Why are dwarves the favoured children in this game? Okay. Oh, never mind. It was just a shortcut anyway. Wouldn't have actually been any use to us. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Seems that uh, we really shouldn't underestimate critical attacks. Let's just check on uh, Sotogas' stats. He's only got a 15% crit chance. That's not that high. Um, he's got 6% armor. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe we're reducing incoming damage by 6%, perhaps? Oh, no, actually, he's got critical chance of 17. That's probably the upgrade. And crit damage of 275. Wow. That's kind of awesome. No wonder he does so much damage. Okay. Let's see. What have we got in here? Oh... Ah, no, 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 no. We're not going to be fighting those bosses. I've learned my lesson. The Gradiator... Just, no. Oh, equally no. Actually, we can probably get through here easily enough, as long as we just keep on the move. What? Why? Why would you do this to me? 
Why? I don't even understand what I've ever done to you. Let me out. I don't want to die. Oh, my lord. I'm in a bad place now. Ow. Ah. Uh, got a tiny bit of health. Take that. And that. And that. And that. I'm just going to keep going until I run out of mana. Which I've now run out. Damn it. Ah. Uh, there was no getting out of that, I don't think. I'm sorry. I I mentioned his name. He's, uh, I, I I brought him upon us. I I invoked his name and summoned him. And for that, I offer you my heartfelt apology. So to me, the knave. I'm uh, I'm Belevious, Boldness, Lady Staplers, the Barbarian Queen, OCD, and Hypochondriac. That would be quite funny. Lady Metasepia the Second, the Barbarian Queen, Adetic Memory, and Pad. Ooh. That's actually a really good set. There's no negative to that, really. So, uh, yeah. Lady Metsepia the Second, you're coming along. But uh, Sir Togus was a determined knave. Oh, wow. The first Lady Metsepia was a valiant barbarian queen. Well done. Let's see if you can uh, live up to such a lofty... Well, not really lofty. Well, yeah, valiant is, is a sort of lofty title, I think. And uh, we're going to have to see if you can live up to it. I bought that again to see if that would unlock something, but it uh, doesn't appear to. That's a shame. And everything is get starting to get expensive. Though it's only adding 10 onto each one, by the looks of it. Which isn't as bad as I thought it would be. So it's not, not the end of the world. Alright, come on then. But that last one. Wow, Tokus just had really bad luck. So many boss rooms. Don't need that chicken, but we'll take it. Since now I know that you can't leave it behind. Oh. I don't want any of your shenanigans. I'm just going to bail out of that. That was, that was going to end badly for us one way or the other. Oh, wait. Oh, is a detect memory letting me know where the enemies are? It would appear so, yes. That's pretty cool. That's what those little red dots are on the map, I imagine. You too? No? Okay. Ow. I thought we'd get him in time. Alas, no. Get out of here, skeleton. Okay. Let's go down this time, I think. <laughs> Why do I always pick the terrible places to go? Okay, this one isn't so bad. In fact, that one was fairly easy for those kinds of traps. And just some barrels. Okay. We're going to go up. We'll fill up this little area here. Oh, no. Just goes to a room above that one. There we go. Well, it looks like we're going down into that other room anyway. But now we know where the enemies are. Right. Okay, so we've got one of those floating skulls that we need to deal with. And... There's an enemy down there? Oh, it must be a zombie. Oh, that's pretty cool. Take that. And uh, you're not an enemy, otherwise you'd be showing up. That is actually pretty useful. I'll be able to uh, tell which paintings are trying to trick me now. To the darkness. Oh, crap. Yes, to the darkness. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll carry on walking just so that we don't have to go across that really long room with the spike traps. And these traps are fairly easy to get past, I found. There we go. Right, what have you got in store for us? Oh, okay. There aren't too many enemies in here.
Okay, going okay so far. Oh, why did I just say that? <sighs> oh wait, I don't have to turn around this time. This is not Dave. Another zone. Mm, can I get that over there? No. Okay. Doesn't look like we need to. Alright, we're gonna let that come past. And there's the picture above us. And this skeleton, and I think that's it. <laughs> Something quite satisfying about killing you guys on the spikes. Though, it's this guy again. Ow! Why did I dodge? Or would rather dash? That was silly. I've got another fair chest. Ooh, another room. A vault room for the cape, eh? That is actually quite useful. That would mean we'd have a triple jump. Hmm. Okay. Oh crap. Those mages sometimes cheat and send their projectiles through the walls, I found. At least if they cast it near a wall. Oh, balls. Okay, fine. There we go. Ooh. That was useful. Actually, do we have the uh, foot pulse thing? Because we might not need to worry too much about going down here if we don't. Oh, bugger. I was too obsessed with uh, finding out whether we were going to set these off to actually dodge a projectile. That was a bit silly. Get you. Another one who's cheating by sending their projectiles through the walls. Really, it's quite unsportsmanlike of you. Right. Oh, Bugger, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to check the map. Hmm. Okay. But we just don't want to go down there, is what we need to do. Ah. We haven't got enough health to keep doing this. Thank you, Wall. You are being a good friend. I think this is the only one in here now. Wow, that felt like cheating, really. Right. It's just a normal chest, though. With a lot of money in it. Wow. Uh, okay, we're going to be going through the bottom of this room, then. Ugh. No. Oh, I want that chest. Is it a fair chest room? No, it isn't. Oh, you git. If only we had that other vault room on our cape, we would be able to get that. Man, that's just cheap. You know, I... Oh, no, I, I was going to say I could use the architect to lock the maze by the vault room and then come back, but then he would get 70% of the gold anyway, so there's not much point. Okay. Another chest. Wow, this run is actually turning into a really good one. Just because of all of the chests that are protected by spike traps that don't affect us. Okay. Actually, there we go. That's going to be a little bit easier for us to work with. And you. Excellent. Our health isn't doing amazingly, but it could certainly be worse. Okay. Right, we're coming up to the wrapping up point, so I think we're going to cut this one off. Um, we will be pausing the video here, and in the next episode, we will continue with uh, Lady Metasepia the second quest. She's doing quite well. Ah, I've said it. But I'm hoping in the time between now and when I record the next episode, the game will forget. See? Clever. And here are her stats. She's a Barbarian Queen, level 12. Um, she's got Pad and Eidetic Memory. And doing, well, yeah, again, pretty good. We've already gained one new Vault Rune. And, yeah, I think we're going to be all right. Though, why has it got the background of the darkness? Hmm, I don't is that perhaps because we went to the darkness? So it's like put the background on our sort of character card of the most 
uh, the, the deepest area that we've been, perhaps? I don't know. But join us in the next episode to see if Lady Metsepia can crest 1,000 gold. It's, uh, it's not that far for her to go, but uh, this game, I'm fairly sure it has an AI director. I wouldn't be surprised. It, it'll probably throw a spanner in the works. Those next 70 pieces of gold are going to be hard-earned, I suspect. But we shall find out in the next episode. Until then, and as always, do take care.